Mike Schultz, uh, who's won the X Games the last three years in a row. Um, so I'm really excited to start get my new feet. It should be pretty cool and just become an inspiration to other people who want to do the same thing as I do. All right, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, First Sergeant Nicholas Ham with the United States Marine Corps. I'm still on active duty and I started a foundation called Warrior Built. Uh, Warrior Built is basically an organization that supports combat veterans, not just wounded warriors, but all combat veterans. So if you deployed in combat, whether you got hurt or not, we want to be the organization that helps you. So we team together with uh, Race for the Wounded. It's an outstanding organization that helps uh, wounded warriors get into uh, off-road racing. So they contacted me and we're collaborating together in order to race the Baja 1000. So by doing that together with both our sponsors, both our fundraising efforts, we're able to get uh, numerous wounded warriors down to the Baja 1000 this year. We have a bike team, so we've got six uh, combat veterans who race on the bike team. I'll be one of them, along with my, uh, my good friend that lives with me, Jesse Williamson. He's a double leg amputee. He's going to be actually the first double leg amputee to ever race the Baja 1000 on actual dirt bikes. So he's going to make history this year, so we're really excited for that. And because of the race of the wounded and the opportunity they gave us and us collaborating together, that's going to come true. So that's uh, Jesse's going to go on and do great things. From there, we also got a truck team. It's a 2008 Toyota Tacoma, it's a four-door. We're actually going to get a bunch of wounded warriors to be passengers in that vehicle. So every pit stop, a new set of wounded warriors to actually jump in that vehicle and keep going, you know, a couple hundred miles down the road. So it's really a, a fantastic idea, you know, collaborating with Brett from uh, Racing the Wounded. Together, uh, we're able to do amazing things for our wounded warriors and our combat veterans. And I, I can't say enough about them and the CRF 450X 2007. You know, it's got a desert tank on here. It's got the hand guards, steering stabilizer. It's got the, the case. Uh, headlights on there. Uh, Casey's been blessed with the sponsorship, so we got those lights on there. There's numerous things on there to make this uh, dirt bike ready for the Baja 1000. So, uh, you know, once again, with the Warrior built and Race for the Wounded, we're going to do some amazing things, not just for the Baja 1000, but here in 2014, we're going to come together, do more off road races. We want to build an off road vehicle and just do all kinds of great things for our military veterans and get them into uh, those different types of sports to get their adrenaline going again and do it in a safe and fun and uh, supportive environment. I am uh, Brett Robinson, founder of Race for the Wounded. Uh, what we have here is uh, our motorcycle. It's a 2007 Honda CRF X450. We raced it last year, raising money for the Wounded Warrior Project, and uh, ended up raising $40,000 for them. After that, I formed my own nonprofit, Race for the Wounded, and the whole goal is to get uh, wounded veterans into off-road racing. And uh, this year, we're having uh, Jesse and Nick, two wounded veterans. Uh, all of us are veterans ourselves. I did just over 20 years when I retired. Getting them on motorcycles and trucks, Right now we have two that will be on the motorcycle with us. Uh, we're putting seven uh, wounded guys in trucks this year. And actually today we have a wounded female who is out at the powder puff race uh, taking part in that. So we're just doing all we can with the donations, 100%. This is all volunteer work. Everybody works with us, volunteer. So 100% donations go to helping these vets live their dreams. I'm looking forward to racing this year's Baja 1000. It'll be my first time doing it uh, with this team and this group of guys. So hopefully.
hopefully we can go out there and uh, show everybody that you know just because something is going on in your life that's difficult you know just keep pushing through it keep trying and uh, eventually it'll pay off you know just don't give up so.